in another instance of uh, complications from an AV fistula, um, I've got a patient here who's been on dialysis for some time. Uh, recently, he was admitted with chest infection, um, and uh, uh, he has been actually doing very well ever since. But now he's come with the complaints of abdominal uh, swelling, uh, bursting edema, and breathlessness um, uh, on and off dialysis. Uh, looking at him, you can see there's significant muscle wasting in this gentleman. There is loss of uh, bodily fat, and that's why you can see the breast tissue has fallen as well. And there is significant muscle wasting. This goes with uh, the chronic chronicity of the illness um, of uh, kidney impairment. But uh, he's got a fistula on the left arm, and you see, you can see this is a very prominent fistula. This is where the fistula surgery was done, and this is a very prominent fistula, and this is what is called as a serpentine fistula because it looks like a snake. This is a serpentine fistula, and this goes all the way up. Now, it's going to be very hard to perceive that on a video, but uh, you have to trust me on this one. Uh, but the, uh, the vein is all the way it is engorged up to here, and around here, you can feel a thrill. But if you look closely, you'll see that there are pulsations, the venous pulsations. You can see here as well as you can see here. So we need a close up on this one. So you can see venous pulsations here, and that implies that the venous system is engorged. You can in fact see the A, C and B waves in this one. Now coming down, the, the, there aren't any collateral markings, which means that collaterals haven't developed as yet, but coming down here on the abdomen, you'll see that there is indeed swelling of the abdomen, but what is significant to this gentleman, apart from ascites, is that he's actually got abdominal wall edema. Abdominal wall edema is something which you don't really see that very often in, in, in dialysis patients. You can see that in nephrotic syndrome. You can see that in uh, hypoalbuminemic states, but he's got a good appetite. Um, and you can see there is significant abdominal wall edema because you can press it and this is what it is. And the skin looks puckered as well. And puckering of the skin, which looks like an orange, an orange skin, so there is puckering of the skin hair as well. So there is significant abdominal wall edema. When a person, a male person, has abdominal wall edema, they often have scrotal edema as well. He has scrotal edema. And as you can look down, he's got significant leg edema. So there isn't any doubt in that, that he is fluid overloaded. But his chest is clear. Now, when the chest is clear, that means that the uh, the, 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 the left heart is in compromise, his blood pressure is fine as well, but there is a pressure on the right side of the vascular system, that means the right ventricle and otherwise, and as you can see from the, uh, from the raised JVP and from the venous, uh, uh, from, from the venous uh, wave pattern. So it's likely that because of this AV fistula, which is a very hyperactive serpentine fistula, and you can feel the thrill here as well, the system is being bypassed, fluid is entering into the right heart quickly. It isn't allow, allowing the right heart of uh, the the right side of the heart to dilate in time to get all the blood which is coming from this from this circuit, and so therefore there is fluid retention on the lower half of the body. So there is this is a, a, a this is a typical case of right cardiac right sided cardiac impairment, um, independent of left sided cardiac impairment because the right sided fluid is is overloaded. So you've got um, edema. You've got abdominal wall edema, which is usually seen in cases of uh, uh, hypoalbuminemia. I'm sure he's got a palpable liver as well underneath here, and he's got uh, signs of um, fluid retention on the right side. What this gentleman needs is, um, as far as treatment is concerned, first we need to investigate him because we need to see what the albumin level is. We need to do an abdominal ultrasound, a chest x-ray if required, uh, an HRCT to, to look at the venous systems. And if they're all clear, the next step is going to be that we have to do something with the fistula because the fistula is the cause of this. In time, if you don't do anything with the fistula, the fistula is going to affect the left heart uh, as well. And so therefore, then uh, we, we will have um, problems with the breathlessness um, um, all the time. So fistula probably may have to be ligated to, to get a new uh, fistula in. Thank you.